So what is going on guys, Flair here from Roadrage Studios and today I'm bringing you episode 6 of GTA Online weekly recap slash weekly update. Uh, so this week we have got some pretty interesting news. The first piece will be the Valentine's Day DLC and the second piece kind of going hand in hand with that uh, is the patch 1.10 to GTA Online. So these are all some very interesting additions guys, so uh, let's jump right on in. So the Valentine's Day DLC has brought us two kind of major things uh, as well as some other small things so that would of course be the Gusenberg sweeper which is Al Capone's uh, his style the old typical gun that was seen as his uh, it also brought in the new card the Albany Roosevelt which was you can see it on screen for a start here which was also hit the kind of armored card that was typically known as, uh, as his car as well as bringing in other various pieces of uh, clothing and stuff to kind of go hand in hand with the Valentine's Day massacre kind of thing, so it's kind of a morbid kind of situation. But they brought in some things to try and lighten the mood, and uh, yes, here we are with some new DLC. So it's definitely some fun stuff to go and play with, guys. So you definitely want that. Also, over uh, I think when you see this, maybe over the next few hours, you have triple money, I believe, maybe RP too for doing arm wrestling and also sea races. Definitely go and get on that if you want to try and rank up your character. Maybe if you're a lower level, that could definitely help you out, kind of jump boost you to uh, GTA Online. So that's definitely a fun piece. Now on to patch 1.10. Uh, this has brought some interesting things. The first thing is just on the phone, a rather small thing is a new icon on the iFruit, and that's the email icon that you see in single player. It's now also in online, maybe this will be added for future jobs, whatever. It has no real purpose yet, but it's actually there, so that maybe that's an indication that we're going to be getting jobs of some sort in the future. Uh, maybe free roam businesses, a bit like in single player you can buy different businesses and uh, make a bit of money from those. Maybe something like that will happen in online, uh, we have yet to see that but I'm quite excited for that. The next thing is that now in GTA Online, for whatever reason it may be, the mechanic is now no longer existent. You can still phone him and you still pay him his $50 every 45, 48 minutes, uh, and yeah, uh, he's just kind of gone. So now when you ask for a car to be delivered, uh, he doesn't actually drive in it and then deliver it. He The car gets delivered wherever you're not looking and just appears there and all is well. The only problem with this is is that it typically parks it a lot further away than anybody actually wants it, so that causes a few problems, so I'm not sure how to feel about this. And the last piece in patch 1.10 is that the rat loader is back, so it's completely free to buy and upgrade, and it's now classed as a muscle car, meaning you can of course store it in your garage. So that's definitely a cool thing, guys. Doesn't handle the best, doesn't drive the best, but it's quite unique uh, in so much as how it looks. A lot of people will of course have it now because it's free, so, um, but go and get your hands on it. I don't know how long this offer is going to last. It's going to be for a limited time, just over the Valentine's Day uh, piece, but I don't know its exact dates. So go and grab one up now, even if it's just to play around with for a bit and try it out. So onto the picture of the day, guys. So I don't actually know the creator of this because his name looks to be in Russian. It seems like there's a lot of photographers on the social club that are Russian, so I cannot pronounce your name. I'm extremely sorry. But it's a really nice picture of the Albany Roosevelt. Now, what looks to be at the golf club, maybe? I know that I've definitely got that wrong. I'm sorry, I'm looking at it on a small image. Uh, it's got a very nice filter on it. It's using the rule of thirds. Definitely a thumbs up in my book. And here's, of course, again, the sunlight coming in, and it looks very nice overall. Now, the video of the day is by J Drifts. That's his YouTube name. And this is kind of a Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day Massacre mini edit. Uh, so we're kind of wrapping this up guys, so definitely go check out that video in the description below. I really did enjoy it. It's kind of a short video, it's only a minute and a half or so, but it has a pretty cool filter, it has some Valentine's Day references in it, so I definitely like it guys. So of course, like I said, there'll be a link down in the description below, so you can go check it out there and uh, give the guy some support. He's a bit of a smaller channel, so definitely go and help him out. If you guys did enjoy this video, why not leave a like and a comment down below. Uh, also send me in private messages or tweet me, at ByFlare, uh, any pictures or videos that you may have that you want featured in this series. Be very much appreciated. Thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been Flair from Auto Studios. Signing out.